Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for more video booze. And do not forget to follow you, girl, on Instagram. Personal Instagram is 50 Shades of underscore platinum. And business Instagram is think stacking. So, y'all, today is a highly, highly, highly requested video. Um, I get this all the time. Y'all want tips, advice on becoming beginner strippers, or if you are already in the stripper game and you still new to the stripper game, um you guys want advice and tips i'm not the queen of stripping um i'm still learning as i go on into the years of stripping um i've only been stripping for three years this summer makes four so i'm not like all that good with the advice the tips but i'm gonna give y'all my advice and tips that y'all need as a beginner period and advice when i first started stripping i would want for myself so and y'all, if y'all see this outfit in a different video that I already recorded, just know it was only a couple of days ago. I tried to record this video a couple of days ago in the same outfit, but it did not work out. The footage ended up deleting a whole bunch of weird stuff. And I just, I'm coming to y'all recording it today with the same outfit on. So. Also, if these tips do not, and the advice that I'm giving do not apply to you, just let it fly. Um, I'm not going to apply to everyone, but if it do, it do. I'm glad to help. I'm hoping this video is very helpful, helpful to y'all. And y'all just take these tips and advice that I'm giving y'all and do some with them. So let's just go ahead and get it to these tips. I got all the tips written down, typed in my notes. So let's go ahead and get it to this. My first tip for my ladies is hygiene. I feel like hygiene is the most important thing as a dancer that you need to take care of. You don't want to come into no club where you half naked and smelling like sweat. You know, little fish here and there. You don't want a little, you know, bacteria. You don't want to smell like it. So make sure you wash up before the club and after your after the club after your night shift night shift is over because you've been dancing sweating it's cool to wipe down in between dances or when you feel like you're sweating too much it's cool to wipe down um a lot of girls do use wipes to wipe themselves like under their arms or between their home girl down there between their butt if they've been sweating down there um just to let y'all know i use me personally i use huggies wipes the sensitive ones the non-scented i don't recommend using scented because you don't want to throw off your ph balance or you don't want to put nothing scented down there on your home girl okay so i wouldn't recommend using um scented wipes but everybody is different by all means if you use scented wipes you use scented wipes also um with hygiene you want to keep your breath intact say if you drinking or you've been eating in a club just make sure you have you some gum, some mint, some Tic Tacs or something on you or in your, you know, your little money bag. If you can carry around a money bag or before you get on the floor or after you eat, go get a piece of gum or ask, you know, somebody in the cup like, yeah, you got a piece of gum, you got a Tic Tac or something. If you didn't ask something that you feel like it'll have your breath a little, you know. Also with hygiene, um, a lot of girls in a club also use deodorant sprays. Because they want to spray, you know, deodorant sprays under their arms. So, you don't use, like, deodorant, the white deodorant that will leave, like, um, residue. When you put your arms up, you don't want to see all that little white residue. Pretty sure customers don't want to see that either. So, when you're done with dances, like, dancing on customers, if you got nude, I would rec recommend you to... Go wipe down after every customer if you're new. Because if you're rubbing your homegirl against, you know, somebody's pants. Even though I really don't recommend you to rub, rub your homegirl on somebody outside pants. But just in case you do, wipe after every dance with a customer. Also, back to the deodorant spray. Me, personally, I use Dove deodorant spray, dry spray. It's other brands out there, but I really don't like them other brands. I rather use Dove deodorant dry spray. 
that's me personally but other people do use other brands but i just feel like just use what works best for you some big clubs do have showers a lot of clubs don't have showers but if you feel like you need more than just you know if you feel like you need more than just a wet wipe if your club don't have a shower then go to like in a bathroom go by the sink take you a little rag your little soap you use and just you know freshen up a little bit a little bird bath sometimes we do we we take bird baths okay okay we ain't, ain't no shame in my game because i did a bird bath before in the club ain't no shame in my game at all if we don't have because we don't have showers but every club don't have showers you might see some big clubs that do have showers tip number two appearance appearance is a big deal because when you first go to clubs and you want to get hired, I'm not saying put on your best dress, like a formal ball dress and heels. I'm not saying you have to do all that. Put on a decent outfit, some decent shoes, have your hair and makeup done. Because when you go to these clubs and you're trying to audition and try out and work at their club, they want to have something to look at. They want to have a reason to hire you. Why would you be a good candidate to get hired at that club? So you want to have your hair done. You don't have to have a full face of makeup on. That's something you don't have to do. But if you decide to go in with a full face of makeup, then go in with a full face of makeup. So, me personally, I'm on a natural side. So, I really don't go in with a full face of makeup ever. So, like, I want people to see my natural beauty. beauty. So, I want them to see who I am under this makeup. I don't want to just look good with makeup. And when I take the makeup off, they be looking like damn who we hire you know but yeah so appearance is everything come with you a decent outfit on um i would say come with something on that it kind of like show off your figure so they can look at you and be like okay you look good now let's see you with your dance clothes on or something so make sure you have your nails done your toes done because some clubs do make you they might not want to see you in your regular clothes. They might just tell you, like, okay, go in the back and go change into a dance outfit and come back in the office so we can see how your shape and stuff is and how you look in dance outfits, in your dance outfit and um, shoes. On the other hand, you might have clubs, like, clubs that you just got to fill out an application and you hired. You might have clubs like that. So, appearance is, like, the main thing because they want to see how good you look. They want to see if, like, if they hire you with the customers like you or not, okay? But you also have clubs that don't really care, but I still say go looking good, but you ain't got to go like you going to a prom. <laughs> Tip number three. Spend money to make money. And when I say you have to spend money to make money is you have to spend money on your hair. You have to spend money on your nails. You have to spend money on your toes. You have to spend money on your dance outfit. You have to spend money on your dance shoes. You have to spend money to keep up your hygiene. Spend money to make money. No, I'm not saying you have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on dance outfits and shoes the first day. When you first go in and say, oh, I want to work. I'm not saying you got to have thousands worth of clothes and shoes in your bag. You can find you some cheap shoes that's like $30, $40. That works best for you that you can walk in. So you have to invest in yourself for sure. You have to invest, invest, invest in yourself for sure when it comes to dancing or being a stripper to make more money. Because as I became like more in a stripper game, my outfits changed a lot. I'm like a... I need outfits that got rhinestones in it. When I first started, I did not have outfits that um, have rhinestones on it. My first outfit was like a, a slingshot, and it was very plain. Um, it works best. It worked best for me because I first when I first started, I didn't mind. But now, me being me, slingshots mm, not my type at all. My outfits gotta have diamonds on them, and those type of outfits be like fifty to to a hundred dollars even more depends on if the outfit is stoned out or some stones on them them outfits be costing and shoes um when i first started i had like some black six inch heels but they was low now i have the ones that go up your um your leg that's like above my knee 
probably up my thigh. Those type of shoes I like. Um, those shoes will run you about like how much I pay for those shoes? Like a hundred and five dollars, I think it was. So yeah, you gotta spend money to make money. So you, anything you do, business wise, stripper, dancer, club wise, you have to always like invest in yourself to you know see some money coming back in. You know, like boss yourself up. Tip number four: drunk girl in a club. I say don't be that drunk girl in a club because yeah, it's cool sometimes to have like a shot or two because you want to, you know, not say you don't want to remember the night, but don't be that drunk girl in a club where you're not going to remember your night. You don't know, you don't remember what you did. You probably did all type of crazy stuff the night before. Don't do that. Don't be that drunk girl in a club. It's cool to have you like a little shot or two, but I would say drink what you can handle. Don't be drinking so much and now you just walking around the club all sloppy looking and over drunk, tripping over customers, tripping over the dancers. They're going to look at you funny. And they might not even try to get to your name because you're going to have a name for yourself. They probably going to say, oh, that's a drunk girl. You know, don't make, for your, don't make a name for yourself. And especially don't make a name where it's, uh, she that drunk girl. That girl always drunk. And I recommend you to only drink if you of age in a strip club no i'm not prom promoting everybody to drink if you of age go ahead have you a shot or two girl maybe you just want to feel a little you know feel a little good within yourself but other than that don't get hooked on alcohol in a club because once you get hooked on alcohol in a club you're going to feel like you always need you a shot or a drink in a club to just survive the night if you do, by all means, do you, boo. But I recommend if you don't need it, don't even get used to it. So, and also, you should know when to handle business and play. Yeah, it's fun in a club, but balance it out. Don't be sloppy making your money because the liquor took over you. Tip number five, do your research. When I say do your research, I mean research before you even go out there and just be working at a club. Research the club you want to work at. Research the club in your hometown. If you want to work in your hometown, research the club, research the club, research the club, the location, the type of people they have in there, the ethnicity they have um, working in there. And what I mean by that is, like, say if, not to, like, sound like racist or anything, say if the club you want to work at near you is, like, all Caucasian. But they got, like, one or two African Americans. But that's not your type of club. That type of club might be number poetry. And you don't know any pole tricks. So when you go, you don't get hired because you don't know any pole tricks. So if you're just a twerker, I would recommend you go to a club that is like a booty club for you. Yeah, they do pole tricks, but it's mainly a booty club. So I would recommend you to search up just, you know, booty clubs. And you will know that by Google, looking at their pictures, their reviews, Instagram, any social media handle. Whatever they have, Instagram, mainly in, nowadays, Instagram, everybody's on Instagram. You can research a lot on Instagram. So, you can look at their pictures, look at the comments, look at their videos, what type of videos they be uploading. Instagram shows everything, and I'm pretty sure the clubs promote their club, so mainly Instagram and Google. Also, location. You want to make sure you're in a good, safe location. Um, yeah, some clubs might be in, like, the hood of your town. That's cool. If that's what you like, then go to the hood of your town. If you feel like it's more money there, all the dope boys, scammers, drug dealers, whatever, go there. Go there, boo. But make sure they have security tight where the security is looking out for y'all. Tip number six, friends. So, do not go up in a club thinking you about to make a whole bunch of friends at the end of the day. Yeah, you might come out the club with one, two, three, four, five, however many friends you think you're going to um, meet and hang out with, whatever. But I say this to say, 
don't try to go up and down trying to make a whole bunch of friends because everybody's intentions is definitely not pure. Um, everybody just not real, okay? I'm pretty sure y'all know that about the real world. Everybody is not real. Some girls' attentions might not be pure at all. Some might be in competition with you. Some might not even just be liking you. Some might just be trying to use you because they see the customers loving you. So now she want to make money with you. But it's really not that. She just want to make money with you. She's not trying to be cool with you or nothing. Yeah. Let me take a sip of my drink. Hold on. Yeah, it's cool to be cordial. You can say, hey, you can say bye. You can have a little conversation about the customers in a club. You can have your, like, a little associate if that's what you want to do. But if you want to make friends, that's cool. But like I said, you still have to watch your back in a club because everybody is not there to make friends. Everybody is there just for money, just for business. Some people don't even want to know you outside the club. They just want to keep you inside the club. So don't get too comfortable with making friends. And then, like, uh, down the line, you're going to see that oh, she really wasn't my friend. She was just here because, woo, 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 you know? So, don't think you're about to be me, your best friend in a club. Who's to say? You might do. You might meet one best friend in a club, and it's just y'all. You never know. Don't, don't take it the wrong way. And I'm saying that you're not going to meet nobody at all, which you are. But it's up to you if you want to, you know, be friends or not with that person. So, just, you know, just watch your back because everybody is not, you know, everybody not bad. I'm not saying, oh, she's evil, she's evil, she's in competition, she don't like, she's a hater. No, just watch her back or whatever you do. Scoop her out first before you even thinking about like, oh, this my best friend. Oh, I can bring her here. Oh, I can let her know where I lay my head in. Scoop her out first. Make sure you're comfortable and she's comfortable and she got good intentions before opening up to, to a complete stranger. And all she's about is just money. And you thinking it's deeper or further than what it is. Tip number seven, don't do anything you're uncomfortable with. And when I say don't do anything you're uncomfortable with is we got some nasty men in a club. Not saying every man is nasty. Not every saying, not saying every man is just out for one thing because you're a stripper and he just thinks like, oh, I can get her. Oh, I can freak her. You know, um, when I say don't do anything that you're uncomfortable with is say as if a man is you dancing with a man and he's touching you on your butt but he just you know slides to the front and you move his hand or you tell him like nah i'm good i don't want to dance with you no more because you're uncomfortable with that or if he be like what if he be like after touching you he'd be like come on baby i got a hundred or two hundred for you know just to touch you right there and you really not comfortable with it. Don't get comfortable with it just because you just want the money. If you really not feeling it, you really not um, you uncomfortable with it, you don't have to dance with him. Just tell him, I'm okay, and just walk away. Or get a security guard and tell him, like, hey, yeah, he touching me on my private area. I'm not really comfortable with that. Even though you're going to meet them dudes that try but you gotta, you know, you gotta set your, you gotta put your foot down. You gotta set your ground. Like, I'm not one of them. Yeah, I'm a dancer, but I'm not one of them. Okay? And I don't appreciate you touching me there. You might, you, you definitely gonna get most guys that think just because you're a stripper that could just be touching on you. But some clubs don't allow men to even touch you for real. Some clubs, they have to just throw the money. They can't even touch the dancers. So... You might go to a club that you they can't even touch you for real. You might go to a club that is touchy touchy filly filly, but that's up to you to set your ground and tell them like, yeah, I'm not really comfortable with that. That is definitely up to you. Also, when I say don't do anything you uncomfortable with, in a club you're gonna get some guys that wanna like take you home. And you might get some couples that want to take you home, do what they're going to do, do what they want to do. And if you're not comfortable with it, just tell them, like, no, I'm okay. You might get some that's like, 
come on, baby, you can make more money outside of here. I'm going to give you more money and do 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 this and do 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 that. Basically, like, selling yourself. Just tell them I'm okay. No, I'm good. I'm cool. Don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Because you will get some people that's really like, oh, she a stripper. She'll just go because it got money involved. Everybody's not like that. Tip number eight, keep your money separated. When I say keep your money separated, say, for example, I'm here on a customer. It's a dancer here and another customer. A dancer there, a dancer here. And y'all are just like not squished together, but kind of squished together. And they just throwing money. So as you dancing, as they throwing money, it's up to you to scoot your money into your own little pal. Because everybody going to be moving their hand, you know, trying to get their they money. You want to keep your, your money separated because it definitely will start confusion. It would definitely start fights. You might get around a group of girls who don't mind. Y'all have a little conversation and be like, get an understanding of what, you know, about the money. Some girls you will get like, hey, we just going to scoot our money in our own pals. Or, hey, do y'all all just want to work together and as they throwing the money, you just go into one pal and we could just split it at the end of the night. You might get some girls like that or you might not. Or you might get some girls that's... When they throwing the money, everybody scooting their money, and if they feel like that's their dollar that you didn't scoot it up, they gonna be like, "Hey, you scooted my money! Like, what's up? That was my dollar! Like, you know, get to talking. You might get something like that, and it could start a fight. But in some clubs, when you are dancing and money is flying, you will have like I don't know what they call them. I forgot what they call them. Um, I'm just going to call them um, security guards. Security guards that uh, pick your money up for you, put it in a bucket, and they'll keep picking your money up for the rest of the night. You can just tap them and be like, hey, I'm done over here. This is my money right here. This is my money right there. But when you at other clubs, every club don't have that where security guards or somebody will pick up your money, separate your money from the other girls. Everybody don't have that. So you will have to literally work on your own, watch, watch your money. And scooch on own pal. So, if you don't want to start no fights, no confusions with the money, I say keep your money separated from the other girls that's around you because you will meet some that that love rah rah want to fight because you stole her little dollar, her two dollars, her three dollars, whatever it is, cause y'all scooting. You would get some like that, but like I said, you would also get some that would be like, hey, we could just work together. All the money that's flying, we could just put it in one pound, just separate it however many, two, three ways at the end of the night. Or, hey, we just, you know, money flying, just grab your money, no confusion. We all good. Tip number nine, pole tricks. Um, with pole tricks, some clubs, they do, when you get on a pole to audition, they do want to see, you know, you working on a pole, you dancing, and also they want to see some pole tricks. But on the other hand, you, when you're going to go to a club, to work at a club, they really don't require pole tricks. I'm, me personally, I'm not a pole person. Like I said, I've been in this game for three years, and I still don't know how to work the pole. Like getting up on a pole. I know how to do certain stuff, but I just, me personally, I don't like pole tricks. I'm really much of a twerker. So, um, like I said, some clubs do require that. And some clubs don't require that. You don't have to go in right away learning pole tricks. Like when you progress in um, working at a club, you can, you know, take you up a class, um, pole class some girls in the club will teach you how to do pole tricks you know just learn as you keep progressing in a club if you do just go in knowing pole tricks because you already took a pole class before you went to a club to go work at a club because you think you just need pole tricks by all means that is what's up do you boo um so yeah you really don't need pole tricks though but some clubs do require pole tricks <laughs> but yeah Tip number 10, self-confidence. <sighs> ladies, my ladies, my ladies, be comfortable in your own skin. I know when we starting off at the club, hold on, let me take a sip. Just because you see 
a whole bunch of girls around you. You might not even see a whole bunch of girls around you with their butt done and their girls up here done. Some is natural. Some is natural. You might go to some clubs there where it's a lot of natural girls. You might see one, two, or three girls with they, you know, with them done up. But this is what I say. Be comfortable in your own skin because when you see all that around you, don't just go in there and be like, oh, I need this done. I need that done because I'm going to make more money. Us, us natural girls are making money also. So don't think you need to be all done up to make more money or to see more money flowing in. Don't think that. Don't think that at all. Yeah, it's cool if you want to, you know, get your body done eventually. But I feel like soon as you you know work in a club you got to see if you even like working in a club before you know getting your body all done up because you've seen somebody else have her body done so stay true to yourself don't just get it because you see everybody else getting it have a reason if you want to get it go ahead and get it by all means i'm not saying there's something wrong with having your body done but i'm saying don't think because oh she over there got it she got it she got it i need to have it to make more money no, be different. Be yourself. Tip number 11. Don't think you're going to make a whole bunch of money on your first night or even in a few weeks. When I say this, get used to the club that you're going to work out in or audition in or whatever. Fill it out. Just because, yeah, you see a girl that's been in there probably for like four or five years make a whole bunch of money that you're going to make the same amount she do. She probably have regulars and clients that come in there for her specifically and she making all this money or on the other hand it's just people know her and really mess with her because she's been there she's a regular girl that's been working there so don't think because you see her making thousands you gonna make the same amount of money as her you might not see the same amount as everybody else in the first few days you work the first few weeks you work or at least up to two three months so I say this to say, build your clientele up, build your regulars up, um, build your regulars up, keep going back to that club so you can get used to it, so the customers can get used to you, so everybody in the club get used to you, know who you is, or want to come back and spend money because they like something unique about you, they like how you move your butt, they like how you do this trick on a pole, so they just come in, you know, throwing money, spending money because you just you. So, even if you don't build your regulars up, people are still just coming to the club and fuck with you because they seen you in that club for a minute. You not the new girl in town no more, you know? So, me, I don't have no regulars, but people are still mess with me because I've been in a club for a minute and they seen me around for a little minute, you know? So, last but not least, tip number 12. Set goals. And when I say set goals, I mean your short-term goals and your long-term goals. No, you don't have to have, like, your goals all written out on the first day you go in a club. And you got a whole bunch of goals. If you do, kudos to you that you want to make by the end of the week or... You know your short-term goals on your long term, your long term, or your long-term goals that you want to make by the end of the year. Um, no, don't go up in there and be like, oh, I just want to make a whole bunch of money because I want to buy this designer, or I want to buy me a new bag, I want to buy me two new bags, or you know, I just say, yeah, that's cool, that's gonna come. You gonna be buying designer here and there, but don't go in there. Thinking, oh, I'm just about to buy all this design. That's why I need to shirt. Have you some goals? Have you an exit ticket at the end of this? Because dancing, stripping, stripping, the strip club is not going to be, it's not going to be around forever. So while you have it, while you're doing this, stack your money. um, Get you a business going, real estate, um, hair, nails, lashes, whatever you want to do. Set you some goals so you can eventually get out of the club. Set you some goals. Stack your money. And you'll be all right. Even though a lot of people that saw the answer be like, oh, I just, I want to pay my bills. Yeah, or I want to pay my tuition. That's cool, too. Or I want to, you know, just be true financially. Uh, or just choose financial freedom. 
because you have a kid or you have a mom you want to take care of your family you want to take care of yeah that's cool that is definitely a good reason to want to dance and make more money you feel like your job isn't enough all of them are good goals but just make sure you set you a goal so you just don't be stuck in this game and just stuck like oh yeah i'm making all this money what am i gonna do what i'm gonna do with it i'm just gonna splurge it on this island no set you some goals booze and do what you gotta do to get up out of the club so booze that is it for all my tips and advice for becoming a dancer or, or if you already a dancer and you still need some tips and advice because you're still like a beginning stripper that is all i have for you guys today if y'all will want another video of tips and advice i would do a part two to this because i got a lot more i got a lot more i just didn't want to you know squeeze everything in one video but i would do a part two if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and comment down below if y'all want me to touch on anything or do another part two let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and come back for more video booze See y'all in my next one. Bye y'all. Then dip me underway. You can kill me on my first love and I went slow. Hold me till I scream for every.